Hello everyone, my name is Ducky, I am... What, what am I? Hello guys, my name is Ducky, I was a Smite Pro for 9 years and I played in the SPL. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to play Thor in a short amount of time. Alright, nice. That's good. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, lock in the character. Take a good skin. Alright, first let's start off with the passive. Thor gets power for every enemy he's next to. More power, more damage. More power, more damage. So you can see if I stand over here. I mean, it's going to do less damage. This guy is heavier. But more power, more damage. Attacks with it three times. Great. Next. Next is Thor's hammer. If you throw it, it deals double damage when it connects back and hits them again. If it's used on minions, it does the same damage forward as the same damage back. Ideally, you want to use this ability. You double tap get close basic attack and then continue your combo or you can use it as a gap close just to get close to your enemy or you can use it to juke abilities put that out put that, put that. you can also use it to juke spells when trying to freehand the double tap it's good to walk in the direction the other player is walking in to catch it, but it's sometimes best to look that way as well so you move faster. Because moving this way, you're going to move slower. Moving this way, you're going to move quicker, so you'll run at the same pace as the enemy. So if you throw it, turn, it'll pretty much guarantee the double tap as long as you're running in the same direction. If you do it and you're trying to walk and strafe, sometimes it's not going to connect. No, it just did that. You guys going to stop. I just missed. That's fine. Next is the wall. The wall... The stun does a bit of a uh, bit of damage, and it guarantees your double tap most of the time. Combo is typically going to be stun, double tap, teleport. Right? You don't have to always use the wall to stun. You can use it to block off exits, like your mirror wall. It's also good instead of just walling like this to get the Odin bot. Instead, it's sometimes better to hammer forward and wall in front of him to block him off from getting to his team. Thirdly is this spin. There's damage all around you, then there's last instant of damage in front of you. So, better get a hit in front. You can also... Hopefully I don't die here, but you can use this ability to make yourself knock back and knock up immune. So you can immune tear fearless, you can immune... Geb 2, Geb 1, any form of knockup, you can immune it with your free. Okay, lastly, the ult. TC immune, you go in the air, land down, then you start shooting out lightning. Great stuff. The combo for when you ult is typically go up in the sky, land down, basic hammer, basic wall, basic free. That is the full combo. If they don't have beads. Alright, and just some general tips for you. In team fights, or when you're playing up for like FG or playing in group fights, if you wall like this, you do not have to hammer. Let your team poke him. If you wall, you can let your team poke. You don't have to hammer, because as soon as you hammer and they engage on you, you either have to all or you're dead. Or you have to use both actives, you know, it's unfortunate. If you dunk in and the enemy beads, it is okay to hammer out. You have gotten their beads. That is okay. You started the engage, you've gotten their beads. All good. Right, I think that is everything. If you feed, uh, do not blame me. But I hope it goes well.